Hey guys, this is Mac. Welcome back. And today, we're changing out the recoil spring on our Benelli M2 shotgun. Welcome back. So if you're like me and you're a three-gun shooter, hopefully you've had the joy of shooting a Benelli M2 shotgun. But as with his most inertia systems in shotguns, if you try to push the envelope a little too much with light load shells, you may have some malfunctions. Now Taryn Butler at Taryn Tactical Innovations has come out with a really great recoil spring replacement for your Benelli M2 that will allow you to shoot lower power shotgun shells. And when I say lower power I mean less than about 1200 feet per second or less than uh, two and three quarter drams of powder. So changing this recoil spring out is not difficult but it is slightly labor and time intensive. So follow me along as I change mine out. Removing the factory recoil spring is the most challenging part of this process. In a Benelli shotgun, the recoil spring uh, is housed within the stock, so you'll first need to make sure that your shotgun's safe, remove your recoil pad from the back of the shotgun, and then, as you've seen in one of my prior videos, remove the bolt from the back of the extension tube using a 13 millimeter socket. Also, be sure that you pay attention to the orientation of two different plates as you're removing your stock. The first is the plate on the back of the extension tube, which should have several letters on it, a C or an S, and also the letters DX. These control how much cant and drop you have on your stock. And you'll also want to make sure that you match up those letters with the shim, which will be at the back of the receiver. So I'm going to place mine on my work mat here in the specific orientation so that I can reinstall them in the same direction. Now, as you can see, here's the extension tube and we're going to work on removing the spring from the tube. Now I did a lot of research on the internet first of all because there's not much data out on how you remove this. And what I was able to find out is that some Benelli shotguns, M2s in particular, have this screw installed with Loctite. So I initially did try to remove mine using a crescent wrench and a strap wrench and I was unable to break this free without uh, any significant damage to the tube. So I did decide that I did need to use a lighter to melt the Loctite. So I just use uh, the heat from a lighter for about 30 to 45 seconds uh, to heat up the back of the tube and the screw. And this successfully did melt the Loctite. And then I was able to go back and use my strap wrench and my crescent wrench to uh, break this bolt loose. And then once you do break it loose, uh, you'll need to make sure that you do hold the spring into the tube because it is under spring tension. You don't want it to shoot out uh, as you loosen the screw. You'll also notice that I'm using a vise for this. You do need to protect your upper receiver. So uh, I use a couple of 2x4s which are soft and won't do any damage to my shotgun uh, while I have them inside the vise. Now I use a roll pin punch here. Uh, there's a hole on the side of the receiver extension which is basically there for access and you can use any small object to put through the hole to keep the spring compressed as you screw off this uh, receiver extension screw from the back by hand. And once that uh, is off, you can remove the factory spring. Now whether or not you shoot competition or not, you still probably should replace this spring uh, in intervals. If you hunt a lot, uh, I've seen where people recommend re replacing the spring at least once a season or once a year. Um, I have gotten into the habit of replacing the springs in my Benelli shotgun at a minimum of about once uh, per three gun season. And this is the Terran Tactical Innovations reduced power buffer spring. It installs in exactly the opposite order that I removed the factory spring. So I will compress it here and use my roll pin punch through the access hole on the side to keep it captured as I screw the screw uh, into the back of the receiver extension by hand. Now I'm not going to reinstall this with any type of Loctite. 
Uh, once you hand tighten it and then also use, uh, I'm going to use my crescent wrench again to tighten this down. Um, I don't believe I'm going to have any issue with it backing out. Um, so I don't, I don't see any need for Loctite here. It does simply complicate uh, the changing out of this spring. And there is a finished and installed Terran Tactical Innovations reduced power buffer spring. Reinstallation of your stock is in, again, the exact opposite order. Make sure that your shims are appropriately installed and most of the time for a right-handed shooter, uh, you'll see the letters DX on the back of the shims. And for me, my particular drop is the C shim. So I'll reinstall that to the back of the receiver, slide on the stock, and then reinstall the receiver extension plate with the letters CDX showing toward the back of the stock. The washer and the 13 millimeter uh, nut go on the back and then using my socket I'll just tighten this back down and this Terran Tactical buffer spring is completely installed and now I can't wait to get it out to a match and uh, I usually like in uh, competition to run two and three quarter drams powder Winchester double A's. Um, they're a bit more expensive so I usually reserve those for competition when I'm practicing uh, or just don't have any double A's. I like to shoot a State or Rio three drams of powder and I've never had any malfunctions from my Benelli M2 as long as I keep a regular maintenance schedule. Once again, this is Mac. Thanks for joining me for today's installation video of the Terran Tactical Innovations Low Recoil Spring for your Benelli shotgun. And this one has worked great for me. I've ran it in one match successfully at Atlanta 3 gun. Absolutely zero malfunctions and that was with both me shooting the gun and also one of my close friends who had a failure and needed to use mine as a backup. Once again, thanks for watching and I'd like to encourage you to subscribe to my channel. You can do that by clicking on the video in the upper left. As a subscriber, you'll be immediately notified every time I upload a video on a weekly basis. And these videos include guns and gear reviews, as well as content that's always related to 3Gun. And also, to watch more of my most popular videos, click on the video on the lower left. Once again, this is Mac. As always, be safe out there, and we'll see you next time.